To make instant pot red pozole, you will need approximately three pounds of a pork butt roast, two boxes, 32 ounces of chicken broth, a large can of Las Palmas red enchilada sauce, a huge 110 ounce can of hominy, fresh oregano that you will tie with baker's twine, a white onion roughly chopped, five garlic cloves smashed, cumin, salt, and pepper. For pozole toppings, you will want to thinly slice cabbage and radishes, cut up limes, you can add avocado and Mexican cheese, cotija. The soup toppings really make the pozole. To begin with, place your meat into the Instant Pot and the chicken broth and all the other ingredients, including the enchilada sauce. Dump it right in. The onion and the garlic and the oregano. You'll buy fresh oregano, cut off the roots, tie it with cooking twine, just like this, nice and pretty, and then add it right into the pozole. Next, you're gonna wanna add the seasonings. We got some salt, some pepper, and some cumin. Those are literally the only three seasonings in pozole. After that, go ahead and put on the lid, turn the top vent to sealing, and you can push the meat stew button. You want to cook this for at least 40 to 45 minutes so the meat is cooked through. Ta-da! Look at that! So beautiful! Awesome! All right, we're gonna add the hominy as one of the final steps. Go ahead and just dump it right into the Instant Pot. Get it all in there. Stir it up. And we're gonna cook this on the saute mode. So we'll push the council button on the front of the Instant Pot, and then we will press the saute button. While the hominy is cooking, you'll go ahead and shred up the meat. Just take it out, shred it up, and then put it right back into the pozole. And allow the pozole to boil on the saute feature until all the hominy is nice and soft and ready to eat. It will look like this. Beauteous! And it will smell so delicious as well. You'll really want to try this. It's very simple, not very difficult. You see that saute button lit up right there? That's the saute button I was telling you about. It will boil your soup for you and it will make the hominy nice and soft. Pasole is delicious all on its own, but for me, it's the toppings, the garnishes that really do it. So here's my bowl. I love to put finely shredded cabbage, thinly sliced radishes, avocado, a squeeze of lime, and a little bit of Mexican cotija cheese. Enjoy!